name is Ian Tranheim. I'm the Chief Executive of the Care Quality Commission. I'm really proud that over the last 12 months, we've been able to continue to deliver against our purpose. Our purpose here at the Care Quality Commission is to give the public assurance around the safety and quality of the care that they receive in both health and social care, and also to work with providers to, to, to help them to improve. Um, and we've been able to continue to do both of those things, despite all of the things that are going on uh, in, in, in the world. You know, we, we often forget that, that uh, 12 months ago we were still very much uh, in, in the COVID pandemic. We've been through the Omicron variant. We've been through the, role, the rollouts of, of vaccinations and so forth. And, and my team and I have been trying really hard to, to recognise that context in which in which we've, we've been trying to do our work, but at the same time making sure that we are true to our purpose uh, and making sure that the public do get that assurance that that services are are, are, are of high quality and are of course safe and I think we've we've been able to do to do that during during the pandemic despite the fact that it's been a it's been a really tough set of circumstances so I think that's the thing I'm most proud of Well, in the last year, of course, the new uh, health and health and care act has come into place, and what that's done is it's probably given us the the largest extension of our powers in, in, in a decade. And the reason that's important is because we know that when we talk to talk to the public, they tell us that their experience of care, their experience of health and care, is driven as much by the interplay between different providers as as to the quality of care they get from an individual provider. So that means that you know when people move from being a, for, from talking to their GP and then being referred to a hospital and then maybe needing some some social care, um, that the experience is is about how those those different services connect together in a place in a so-called system. Um, and, and what what the uh, what the new what the new powers give us is an opportunity to to look at that now and to comment on it in ways that we were never able to do before. And it also gives us some powers to look very specifically at, at the work that uh, local authorities do. And we've never worked with local authorities in this way uh, before. So again, a, a big extension to our power. So over the last year, of course, we've been preparing for that. Uh, we've got a, a, a big transformation program going on internally where we're we're we're, we're looking again at, at the methodologies that we use, the technology platforms that we use, and we, we've been doing some really important work there around the way we handle data and the way we bring it together and the way we can we the way we can uh, we can showcase it, as well as the way we organise ourselves internally, so to make sure that that we can start to bring our teams together in the best possible way, so that that, that we can have a view of of both individual providers, individual uh, health care, health and social care providers, but also uh, the way those those providers work together in a place. So, so we've been doing a lot of that preparation work behind the scenes so that so that over the course of uh, of the autumn going into the in, into into 2023, uh, we're going to be really well placed to start doing that work uh, in earnest. Well, over the next 12 months, I, I'm really looking forward to us starting to bring all of that preparation work we've been doing together and starting to make it to make it real. You know, we've launched a new website in the last few months. Uh, we, we've built a new a new portal so that providers can work with us more more easily. Uh, we've made our we've done work on our give feedback on care service so that we can get more information from 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 the public. And bringing all of those things together, plus the work we're doing internally, uh, has, has has dominated the last year. But looking ahead, we're really going to see the fruits of that labour. We're really going to start to see ourselves being able to talk about uh, about the way that um, the way that, that that services operate as systems i think the quality of the reports that we're going to produce and and the, and the quality of the data that we're going to produce is going to take a really big step forward over the next year and, and that that I'm, I'm finding really exciting i think it it really will be a step change in the way that in the way that we regulate so i'm hoping that you know when i talk to you this time next year uh, you know you'll be seeing some quite different ways of working from us uh, and and a much a much bigger contribution to the the overall improvement effort that i know um, individual health and social care providers make each and every day.